Hey guys, Jan here in the Northview Model Shop and another update on the Revell F105D Thunder Chief. This is obviously in 148 scale. Um, having a lot of fun moving on uh, quite quickly and uh, getting actually quite excited about this. I'm having, uh, like I said, having a great time. Um, we've got uh, weights into our nose and we've weighted our nose cone just to ensure that we don't get a model tipping over on the model table. Uh, nothing ruins a, a really sweet build than one that won't stay up on its own and you got to put clear uh, clear stakes in the back of it so it'll stand up. Kind of uh, takes a beautiful model and ruins it. But um, we are ready. I think we're almost ready to attach the halves. We've uh, put our cockpit in. As you see, we, uh, we glued it into one side here. A lot of test fitting has gone in, guys, already. Um, it's kind of a, it's kind of weird here. Um, there's a couple of pieces, side trim pieces. We've been kind of cleaning up and adding those, and this piece here, uh, just as we're going through. Just a, something else drying, we'll add that. So we did the both sides, and then there's this piece here that goes through, and um, it's got some details in it, and it mates up with the slot into the wing here, and adds, uh, adds the covers in the wheel well, kind of makes it a little more realistic. Um, for some reason, the one that came in my kit here was bent almost all the way around so I had to do some tweaking and some playing with it to get it to go but uh, really excited because let's see what we're going to do we've got our fit in the front almost taken care of and this thing you know the whole back section fits fits really well I mean there's clamps will keep this the tail up there is fitting nice and tight back here and the while the engine's fitting tight along the bottom of course the one that you won't see a whole lot on is fitting nice real bad mark there we'll have to clean up and up front is a little bit of a hassle, but we've done a lot of chest fitting and a lot of sanding. And we're slowly getting a little more work down in here to kind of bring this edge right here together. Now when we really put the pressure to it, it holds, so that's not a good sign. We're going to have to clear some space here. And I'm going to guess it's probably right in there where she meets. But anyway, guys, we're getting excited because we're getting closer and closer and closer. Uh, the wings, as you know, last last time we put together, so we're kind of waiting on getting those cleaned up, make sure everything fits, and then we'll glue them on, the rear wings. And then, guys, we're getting really close to getting to some color. Um, started eyeing up the uh, the exhaust nozzle here. Um, there's a little piece for the engine that goes inside. I'm thinking, I'm just thinking out loud, is I might just leave this out, paint it separate, so it looks a lot better, and then when it's all said and done, drop it in here, <laughs> every time I put it in there, drop it in there, then slide this into the back section, gluing it in place, and then going from there, and that'll add a little more detail than trying to do it on the uh, on the plane, I have to worry about lots and lots and lots of masking, but anyway, and our injector, see, as you guys seen last time, with some help from a good friend, we were able to weather that up, make it look real nice, so we're having a blast here in this in the uh, Thunder Chief, and we hopefully we'll get her back together, get her all together, and uh, we'll be able to show you guys what we got going on. All right, guys, thanks a million for tuning in, guys. Please, if you really enjoy, give a share. Let uh, the other people around the community see what we're doing here in the Northview Model Shop. And guys, if you're really grooving this, give us a share, and we really appreciate those likes. They really make us feel good at the end of the day. So, all right, guys, thanks for tuning in. Adios.